Hello everyone, this is PHUSA Guru. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I'll be sharing with you my favorite Google Meet attendance extension. First, I want you to look at my Google Classroom. There you could see the Meet link or the Google Meet link. But before we do the attendance, the first thing that you have to do is to go to Chrome Web Store. So let us search on Google Meet attendance. So once you search on that, you could see different attendance here. We have Google Meet attendance with the Apple and the check and Google Meet attendance with this guy and Google Meet attendance offered by Alan Kogi. So as you can see, there are several Google Meet attendance here, but some of them, just like the first two, is hard to use. That's for me because I need to click on the icon several times during the meeting. I have to take a snapshot and also I need to screenshot something just for me to get the attendance. But among these three and my favorite, which you could see I added it already, is a Google Meet offered by Alan Kogi. This Google Meet attendance for me is the easiest and best because you don't need to click anything. All you have to do is to set it up at first and here's the thing it will automatically does the attendance for you so let me show you an example of the attendance that I took there are two things the attendance will be saved by HTML so as you can see this is HTML we have the green the white later on I will explain to you what this grids the green and the white is all about and the other one is in CSB uh, file, which is an Excel. So as you can see, it's just like um, it's showing the time of arrival, the time they left. But I don't see it very useful. But instead, I'm using this. To work this attendance better, you need to download the grid view extension. Because if the students are not on the screen, then... It won't take attendance for them. Once you do the extension, so let's find the attendance grid. So search on it. Okay, there are different grids here. We have grid view for Google Meet, grid view for Google Meet offered by different people. But I suggest, and this attendance works for Google Meet grid view fixed by Simone Marulio. This Google Meet grid view fix could accommodate a lot of participants and you could see them on your screen. So let's go to Google Classroom. So the Google Meet link is at the bottom of your class. So let's see how it works. So I will click the Google Meet link here and at first you could see a blank sheet here, but I will delete it because I just used it a while ago. So the first thing that we should do is to set it up. You can adjust settings based on your needs, but I don't really change it. But what I do is click the auto save. This is for HTML file and the CSV file. So this is the CSV file the excel but I, again i said i don't like it so what i want is the html which you could see the time that the students log in the time that they left this green is in minutes so for this student she is not online like around one minute but probably that is internet connection and this student she came at 11.55 and look at this. She 
logged in at 11.50 but left at 12.05 and come back at 12.20. This is 25.30, 12.23 and again left at around 12.33 and that's it. And this student joined at 12, 11, 12, 12, 12. And this HTML file, this is really what I like because you could easily see who came on time, who left early, and who's not attending the class. And at the same time, I feel like this HTML file gives me a better visual information so once you set it up as you can see you could also change the ma maximum number of names in class i only have like around um, 30 students so but then i don't change that auto hide the updates window after 10 seconds so it's up to you and also you could click generate logs only if requested but again my favorite part here is the html file just like what I've said so let's join now all right and at first you could see the reminder so it says here that your meet start at this time and it's now like this your class list or your attendance will go here so if you want to copy the link it's up to you but I can take that off and to take the attendance automatically, please don't forget to click the grid view because if it's not clicked, your attendance would not be recorded. And then when you leave a meeting, the attendance is automatically saved just like what I've said from the beginning. It's saved on your folder or in your download folder. So let's try to leave the meeting. What we have here is the class list in CSV file and class list in HTML file. So let's take a look at the CSV file. So it says here, name and the arrival because I'm only one so you can't see anything here. And then the HTML file. Okay, so it's here. So I don't have any student to show right now. But one thing is that when there is a pink color, that is my student who have been attending my class but absent for today. But again, once you end the meeting, okay, what you could see is the class list in HTML file and in CSV file. So one, one example of my CSV file that I have showed you a while ago was this. Okay, this is a complete list and the HTML file. So what I do to save my attendance is I put it in a folder. So as you can see, I have here all my attendance for future references. Okay, on one folder. So this is my virtual attendance and... If you need the time and the information if the student is with you, you can just easily pull this out. So how do you transfer the attendance to PowerSchool? So what I do is I split the screen and look at my student and then click if they're present or not. And then that's it. So as you can see, this is really easier to use. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Teacher Beth. If you need help on this, just comment down below. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and happy learning. See you on my, my next blog. See you on my next videos and tutorial.